Hello, everybody, Pony, and welcome to the Underworld's Shadow. It's just really meta and it's, hardcore. <laughs> it's so hardcore. And as you can all tell, um, I'm yes. here today with Zapair, somewhere at the edge of Everfree Forest. How much longer, Vinyl? My hooves are killing me. Literally, just a little bit further. Are you excited to party with every pony? Why, why are you Not partying? Not necessarily. I would much prefer composing another piece at home instead of trooting around in a forest full of bugs and dangerous creatures. By the way, I'm not... Don't be such a stick in the mud, Octavia. There's already plenty in the pain path Other. over there. I can't believe that the mayor would be careless enough to hold a party in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, me neither. Oh, come on. Don't you have a sense for adventure? Having Nightmare Night Party in the forest sounds like crazy fun. If anything, the forest animals ought to be stoked that I'm bringing some mad beats for them. Are we lost and wandering aimlessly in the forest by any chance? And are your co eyes or colored one? No chance! I have the direction of the party with me. Now we can't get lost something. That's not a word, Vinyl. Oh, I'm getting wicked flashbacks of my old English teacher. You sound just like her. Either way, I question the path we are taking. I feel we've been walking in circles. Meanwhile, not very far away... In a galaxy far, far Hey, away. Carmel! What's swinging? Nothing much, but ain't this party a bit... The party's just getting started. Those owls will dally on in soon. I hope they ain't lost. The forest is a mighty big place. That's hooey. I jotted down the way over here on their invitations. No way they can... What? D I can't see that door. Dag blast it. The mayor did. What's your beef? Do you remember when we went to that fancy restaurant? Did you open, up the po uh, open that up in Pottyville? Sure do. There were a lot of high hats. The waitress dames were there were just peachy. Yeah, uh, right. But you got up to go find the quits room in the restaurant and it took you yeah, 30 minutes to find it. However, when you did find it, it took you 30 more minutes to find your way back to our <laughs> table. What you get that? I'm saying that you can't navigate your way in an empty barn with a science painting on the exit, let alone with directions on how you to get here. Cool it, fella. I made sure to write down every detail. Besides, there's only one mansion at the edge of the forest, right? How did he even get here? Like, how did he get here? Oh, that's I read good that's question. Right. See? Now let's go mingle. Don't worry, they'll show. I imagine, like, Carmel went with him. Well, I do believe that congratulations are in order. You've successfully led us safely to our destination without getting us hopelessly lost or eaten by wild beasts. I told you didn't read it. Let's press. I have, <laughs> however, one more concern. What's that, Tabby? This place looks like shit, and it's emitting an eerie green glow. Oh, why? They must be installing strobe light just for me. Ponies after my own heart. Vinyl, I hear music. Dude, it is a party. Well, I'm happy that I was able to provide company on your way here. Good luck on your entertain. Hold up, Terry. You promised me you would come with me and enjoy yourself. You don't want to leave me hanging, right? No, never. Then open the door and let's have some fun. Some Why must I get dragged into these situations? Look how oh. she complains about this before she even knows it's a ghost house. <laughs> yeah, no, I wish I brought along a vacuum cleaner. This house is in dire need of it. Why not? That's a harm in a little dust between two buds. Now then, the invitation said that the key to the house is hidden somewhere that only invited guests would know, but... You forgot where it is, didn't you? Common mistake. Could happen to any pony. Any ideas? I think I can make an educated guess. It's in your pants. It's another one. <laughs> yeah. You attempt to print by all of it. What, what are you, my mother? My man is fine the way it is. Rubbish. A formal occasion demands cleanliness. Wait, this is a formal occasion? It's totally the most formal occasion ever. Clearly. Um, so let's see. 
The amount of handiwork can fix this house. My hooves can. My hooves are the hooves that will clean for justice. That's how a hoof works. Yep. Okay, yeah. Under that. Sure enough, the key is hidden under the mat. Vinyl is egging you to take it. Against your better judgment, you take the creeping looking key. A skeleton key? How original. At least the mayor doesn't dress up like a clown. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. I don't know why. It's just because that's what she does. Yeah. Uh, you unlock the door. Oh, yeah, Viner. Soon we'll be in the house. Oh, yeah. The mayor said to leave the key under the mat for the other invited party animals. So yeah, let's hope that before we get inside, that that's yeah, whatever. Should I try to go inside first, or should I try that? But I don't think I would let you. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Hey, okay, leave the key here for the other guests too. You're right. You're right. If I absolutely, positively must, I don't want to though, because I was figuring like I was like, well, we might get locked inside. Obviously, that's, that's we're gonna exactly get locked inside. That's exactly what going to happen. Well, yeah, that's what's going to happen. But which is why I was wondering. I um, I have this weird feeling because there's some games that like. You might want to lift the mat first. Oh, who made you the thing of mats? Final Scratch, a.k.a. DJ Pwn3. You tolerate her, to say the least, but she has a good heart. Don't forget the deal. If I come with you to your nightmare party and you wash the dishes with soap, not wubs. Look, I just want you to get off your cello and have some fun. Is that a crime? A cliche yet spooky key. You know. Huh? Yeah. I can put the key on it. How silly of me. I can't unlock a wall. I think maybe you should stay away from that drink still. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to shove the key under the mat. You put the key under the mat. I can't believe I'm doing this. What are you, Savage? The more ponies who come to this party, the better. This place doesn't look like a party, bro. <laughs> no, it doesn't. This just okay. looks like a really terrible idea in general. Yeah, this whole party. This does. This, this, yeah, even the real party sounds like a bad idea. This is unusually empty for a party. What the hey? Oh, right, pony shook's over. Uh, where is every pony? Did we miss a party? Yeah, but you guys said there was music. Let's get out of here. This house gives me the creeps. Hold on, Tavi. Let me see if any pony is still here. You know, it's about to like these really old games. <laughs> yeah, it does. Whoa, Whoa Tavi. <laughs> vinyl! <laughs> says, vinyl! You begin to panic as your cries echo down the pit. The thought of getting out of the house to find help crosses through your mind. Too late. The door behind you slams shut and will not budge. It's locked you from the inside. Ah, uh, let me out of you fucking actors! This door locked from the inside! Stressing out over the situation, you keep t telling yourself that Vinyl is probably still alive. Oh, no. Alright, calm down, Vinyl. Vinyl probably fell down under the house, so... I don't know, but it shouldn't be that big of a drop. I can find her. I don't have to voice anymore. You begin to overcome your emotions and take a step forward. Eep! What was that? A slight tapping sound is heard coming from the west. Could it be a clue to vinyl? Yeah, it's you know, certainly. This game makes me feel like scissor man. Yeah, it certainly is like those old games. If I have one complaint with this game, it's too much wasted space. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It reminds me of uh, when Spoonie was talking about the Ultima games, except the screen is even smaller. Like, you know, the Ultima games, they were split in half. One side was your inventory and other stuff, and one half was the game. This game, like, one-fourth of the screen, maybe, is And then the game, screen isn't then... even very big, which people yeah. can't see, but this is, like, uh, tight. Yeah, yeah. We're recording it on kind of a tiny size, because I didn't see any way to fix it, so... <laughs> Yeah. Um. Yeah, they don't actually seem to have a whole lot of uh, options for that. 
So let's see. No matter what you touch, your hoof becomes covered with dust. It's not that bad. Feather Duster can fix this all up. Who am I kidding? This place needs to be condemned. I'm pretty sure you got bigger forms. Yeah. Is, is this woman related to the woman from Scissor Man games? <laughs> <laughs> where she's like, where she's like, oh, Scissor Man's chasing her, and then she's just like, oh man, this, this, this bathroom or whatever is dreadful. Yeah, like, this thing is covered in dust. <laughs> uh, shattered walls, dusty carpets, cobwebs in the corners, yep, this place looks abandoned. I thought this house looked bad from the outside, but this... It's bigger on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> If you know what I mean. Wait, what? That noise is very distracting. I need to know where it is coming from before I do anything else. Wow. <laughs> okay. She's very OCD. Uh, indeed she is. Okay, so I think she said from the west. So which side is that? It's left. It's left, okay. Yeah, it's nice. Stop touching stuff and go through the door. Maybe you have to look down the hole. Okay, okay there we can... go. We, uh, yeah, we hit the buttons like that to go through things. Fancy table dish. <clears throat> the it's, uh, yeah. A fancy tabletop dish with the plate cover on the top of it. It has a note attached to it. Curious. Take the note. Enjoying your meal, my... Son. Oh. Now I am very interested to see what is served for the main course. No, Tavi, no! Oh my god! Funny thing is this game is in a way scarier than some of the horror games you've played. Can it be happening this? Why? How? What is this place I know? As you stare at the lifeless eyes of the rotting head, a chill sends a shiver down your spine. You begin to hear voices. They whisper at first, but they become louder. They speak in an echoing, ghostly voice. They claim that your friend has joined them beyond the realm of the living. They tell you that you are next to go, to join the army of the dead that obey the master of this house. Your mind is at the breaking point. You can feel them try to invade your body and tear out your soul. But as you reach the brink of hopelessness, your heart speaks out in protest. You don't want to leave me hanging, right? Instinctively you reply, No, never, never. No, I don't believe you. She isn't dead. She is alive, <laughs> and I will find her again. The howl of the unseen spirits cry out in anger from your newfound courage. <laughs> you start to feel a little better, but the whispers of the spirits do not go away. Determined, you lift your head high and continue your search. <laughs> But who knows how long you'll have before your brain gives in again. You must hurry and find vinyl before you lose your sanity. Caution. Unlike any other adventure games, you cannot save at any time. You'll find a way to save your game soon enough, but this place here, but this is placed here so you don't have to replay the intro scene over and over again. Would you like to save? Yes. That's nice. My save shall be green bean. Man, this really is like an old game, but man, that was that was so freaky metal there. I'm really liking this game so far, actually. The Ted is actually kinda creepy. Yeah, I know. Let's not let's not play with it. I was like I was I was gonna start playing with Can it. Can you like, nominate? Um reach out to touch the severed head. <laughs> Yes, it move this close, the head at surprising speed latches on your foreleg with its teeth. You scream and attempt to shake it off, but its jaw is like a vice, never letting go. Manages to rip off a mouthful of your flesh as it drops to the floor. Fall to the floor from the massive amount of pain, sobbing loudly as you bleed. Rapidly, your will continue to fade, as well as your vision. On Nightmare Night, you are forcefully drafted into the Undead Army. You help them tear down Ponyville and take many lives before the morning sun rises. Your adventure ends here. Wow. Don't S fuck with pony heads or <laughs> I fuck you. Uh, this really is like an old game. It's like, you know, it's like, no, it's more suspense. What are you talking about? I, I know this pony. He has a trumpet. Play in Ponyville. Brass wins. Oh, Celestia, what happened to you? I think he died. 
<laughs> nah, he's fine. Uh, let's look at this. Is this like I want to convey the guy? Will these apples kill me? You brush your hoover, huh? What are you gonna say? No, dust? How strange. This whole house is covered in it. Painting would kill you, probably. Probably. Stare at the painting, yearning for a more peaceful setting than you are currently in. It's going to take more than a picnic to forget about this dreadful turn of events. Surprisingly, it's not killing me, at least not yet. An unfortunate turn of events. <laughs> Indeed, it's just like those books. And movies. <laughs> Movie. Movie. They only made oh. one, I think. Yeah, they only made the one. But they combined the books, so I guess it works. Yeah, yeah, they combined, like, I believe three books into one movie. Or, yeah, it was three. Okay, yeah, I think you have to go further left. Oh, further left, yeah. Right, right, because that wouldn't explain the sound I heard. It was just disturbing. <laughs> Dirty silverware on a table napkin lie on their table. It's too late for table manners when your entree is a severed head. No, it's not. It's not today for Terry. Uh, <laughs> this really is like those games too, because it's like, you know, she's all flipping out about that, but then she's like, <laughs> it's, she's like, these people have no table manners. Uh, I also just want a little object where the head case, if you touch it, but if you ignore it, it doesn't. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sounds like adventure game logic to me. I said, uh, kid, you by biting you once. Yeah, I know. I don't know how it managed that. I expected this game to have some sort of, like, um... Panic piece, yeah, but yeah. maybe they just did that because it let you save, like, a second right. before. I assume... I literally assume that is why they did that, because I clearly have, like, a meter over here that, like, you know, um, I so. could lose sanity or something. So there's no reason to insta-kill me for something like that. But, yeah. Move the candle and take it with you. A thick with, uh, <clears throat> a thick stick with a flame propose. What? The thick stick with a flame propose stick. I don't know <laughs> something. <laughs> it's sick and it's a stick. What more do you want? Yeah. I'm not even going to try. That is really weird. Most of this game doesn't have voice acting, but randomly, if I try to put this candle on something, it does. No. She'll be like, because she just said it's no use, but she like doesn't voice act anything else. So That's weird. The thing. Yeah. Hey, look, plates. Take the Luna plate. It's locked tight. The key must be somewhere. Okay. I don't want to break it. Is that be unfair? I know. Seriously. Uh, so yeah, later on I'm pretty sure that'll be a puzzle, but for now... Nothing interesting about this corridor. Oh, it's really? Spider, that's why not going to kill you. No, just no. I'm not going to touch it. Look at him. Upstairs is blocked with a huge spider web. The spiders themselves are pretty... A pretty poisonous breed, too. Because I would know that so well. Just what is this haunted ha Just what this haunted house needs. I need to find a way to kill the spiders. Say, <laughs> they're not really taking use, I guess that's kind of mean. It's all tight, won't budge. What's with all these locked things? Hope I don't accidentally squirt oil on myself. <laughs> it's hard to wash it off one's coat. I don't know why, but it's very sexual. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I don't accidentally squirt oil on myself. <laughs> <laughs> that, does sound, that does sound pretty sexual, actually. Uh, it'd be it'd be like it'd be like if someone went to you know like a car wash or something, and they're like, I oh, hope I, I get don't myself get wet. wet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, I not hear those explosions. Totally not. Why are there explosions? Because people won't hear really like fireworks. Oh. Okay, well, we found one step to killing these things. I think right. you need the fire yeah, first. Yeah, the fire, too. <laughs> they really explosions. like explosions. They certainly do. Oh, my god. Ah, it's a pool of blood that's covered all over the murder weapon. Well, I feel silly. It's just a wooden spoon covered in spaghetti sauce. <laughs> Wow. That's a very good spoon. <laughs> Apparently so. A useful tool for stirring sauce that doubles as a disciplinary tool. 
You would know, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you just take the spoon. I did just take the spoon. Which is apparently a disciplinary tool. I like how Panic still went up from that, I think. Yeah, it did. I think I can deduce that this family is the family that used to live here. I mean, I think they don't live here anymore. But it's, I think one, Dad kind of lost his head. Me and Dad just like got scribbled all fucking over. That's, Someone doesn't he like He might be Dad. the guy who's dead. I figured that he was pyramid head, but I guess that works. Or Maybe corn. that was pyramid. Thank you for lending me your ears. Oh, that was a corny pun. <laughs> Tom, Tomato, Tomato. What did you What did you say about the tomato? I get to finish reading. No, look at the tomato. Fine. It's not a particularly fond of. I'm not vinyl is though, which results in her often having bad breath. Okay. I so love onions. onions. That's cool. Onions are a thing. Um, let's see. Now all I need is some sour cream and chives. What I Wait, she likes garlic, that? but she doesn't like onions? I assume that's garlic. So. I don't know what yeah. that is. Take an egg. Carrying too much stuff already. Oh great. Now you're now you're the guy with the medicine capsule. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she's carrying for no reason, like, all these, like, <laughs> things. I know, admittedly, it's not like the guy where he actually has a reason to carry everything. She's just like, I'm like, hey, shove shove an ear of corn, a tomato, an onion, and something else in your pocket. Because why not? Yep. Curses, the drawer won't open all the way out. Maybe if I pull hard enough, I can force it open. No, it would kill you. Yeah. I'll probably try again later. Yeah, after I find If I ever, like, jump out and, like, break your neck with a chainsaw. Probably. What are you doing? I'm just exploring about to see if there's okay. any, um... You know... Anything else to... Okay, I can't reach it, so I need something to reach that. Which is probably the cleanest area of the house. Okay, um... Oh my god. I'm pretty sure it's not blood. Too hot to take a taste test. A pot of spaghetti sauce is simmering on the stove. Ah, so that's why the room smells so good. But wait, who's cooking a place like this? Is some pony living here? Use the spoon to spoon it. <laughs> okay. That did nothing. That, that, did spooned no it. that did nothing, Sir Pear. That did not Spoon it, that's this something. I had no idea that this was how my life would pan out to be. Um, I'll take the smallest one. <laughs> She's such a joker for like oh, dying. I know, seriously. It's like I know things are bad right now. But is that a, you know is, did she take the pen? Yeah, she did. But she can't whatever. Yeah, I don't know. As you approach the dumbwaiter, you can barely hear some voices. Amongst the voices, you hear some pony very familiar trying to stir up a crowd and get them all to parte. Oh my gosh, she's... You stick your head in and shout. No! Vinyl! Vinyl! For the love of all things good in the world, please respond! Please tell me you're okay! I told you to go back out. Last, you find your friend. You feel a great weight lifted off your shoulders upon hearing her voice. Darn it, I think I might have uh, clicked ahead of one. Finally, you magnificent pony. I'm so happy that you're okay. Oh, oh. yeah, that luck cushioned my fall. It was a bit too wide, but not bad for a nightmare night party entrance. Party entrance? Yeah, that, that, there's food, drinks, a bit of entertainment, and several ponies enjoying themselves. You cannot be serious. Oh, I'm lying a little. The, the party goers here are very grungy. Grungy? What? You know, depressing. They mingle around and act like that's the end of the world or something. Ah, that's more like it. No pony in their right mind would be enjoying themselves in this ghastly domain. <laughs> that's more like it. Oh, come on. It isn't so bad down here. 
Case in point, look, I have many questions, I need you to tell me everything you know. Cool, the other point is you wouldn't make, make small talk with me. Well, the other ponies, but there's armies. Tell me about the other party guests. Funny thing is, these ponies are regulars at the club that I perform in. They were also the invited guests to the Nightmare Night Party. When I arrived, one of the ponies shouted that it was all over and then hunted in a corner. So wait, this was the place. Didn't tip you off that something was amiss. Thirty men that the party was over. I tried to shear him and every pony up. Points for optimism, but I don't think that voice was his concern. I, <clears throat> we need to escape. Final, we need to get out of this haunted house immediately. Why? This place is a perfect atmosphere for a nightmare night party. Evil spirits are speaking me, telling me to join the army of the dead. <laughs> Wow, that sound, the sound effects of this must be crazy good. I found the severed head of a fellow band member. For real? Dang, sounds like you are having more spooky fun, obviously. What kind of material did they use? It wasn't a prop vinyl. It was a real pony. Maggots were devouring the dead flesh. Huh? You know, if what you're saying is true, then... It's kind of messed up in a bad way. <laughs> really? I see we're finally grasping the severity of our situation. Okay, I'm all for getting the heck out of here. But what about the party? You're right. What about the party? <laughs> what about what about the party? It has to go on. <laughs> the party has to go on. Uh, I guess who's responsible for the party? Do you know who's responsible for this fox party? No idea. I asked a guy that was huddling in the corner when he snaps out of it. They say he has been here longer than the rest of us. Also, I haven't seen Blues and Carmel, so this might be the wrong house. But it's strange. There's been somebody behind all this. A pot of spaghetti is boiling. Food and drinks are prepared down below, and some pony put a dismembered head as uh, the leading entree. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. If I can survive long enough, I can almost feel these ghosts trying to take my soul away. <laughs> I was going to say Necrocomicon last time, but I never got onto it because he got bitten to this. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm ready to call it Sp Split Val. There's one tiny poem here. And what would that be? The door out of here is broken. I mean, locked. <laughs> I have no choice then. I'm going to find the way down and free you. Alright, Tabby. Hey, if there's something that's troubling you in the house, come back to talk to me and we'll brainstorm something for us, okay? Like the giant spiders? Absolutely, Vinyl. Don't leave me hanging. I never will. Why did that down my sanity? I, maybe because I you found out that there's like other. Oh, right, right. I just assumed that talking... Actually, at first when she said to come back and talk to her, I was thinking that, like, that would be my sanity uh, fix, is going back and talking to Vinyl whenever I start freaking out. And, like, the effect is actually pretty good. This game in general is pretty creepy. Yeah, I have to say, I'm really liking this game so far. It's a very really... creepy atmosphere. Yeah. If you play this game like alone at night, it'd be pretty creepy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh snap. Oh no, it's a timber wolf. Luckily it's still sleeping, but long wrong move can spell disaster. Oh, no, no, the, the timber wolves aren't that creepy. If I thought that was like a zombie, but no. Yeah. Give it a tomato. Actually, you don't want to get killed right now. Ah, shoot. Ah, oh no, it stands to confront you. If you aren't going to make the first move in order of the rewards, if you don't have a plan, run. Did I get the key? No, I don't think I did. Okay, so. You could beat it over the head with a frying pan, like <laughs> Samwise Gumshi style. Ah, uh, totally. But I think, um... I might actually have to do something like that. I'm not really seeing a particular, um... Did you Wait, try giving the spiders any, the corn? Was there any fire? I think there'd be fire in the kitchen over here. No, there's no, like... I don't think there's a direct fire, but let me try. 
<laughs> Apparently not. Apparently that did not. Corn. Yes, I'm sure spiders love corn. What? They are evil. <laughs> You're saying corn is evil? <laughs> Maybe. The two I don't want mix. Maybe you have to mix the corn and the tomato. <laughs> Do you try throwing like all the fucking stuff in the tomato soup? Maybe you have to make good tomato soup and give it to the Timberwolf. I tried, I tried throwing stuff into the soup, but it didn't seem to want to go. Ridiculous. <laughs> You're ridiculous, girl. Here, um... Yeah, I need some freaking fire. Okay, so... Don't click the hand. Oh, yeah, I know. But actually, I was thinking... Spoon! Yeah, I would use a flying pan and that, yes. Oh, yeah, actually, that's true. I just thought the spoon, because. They're like, oh, she's like confusing to vandalize this place. <laughs> I know, she's like, who, why would I do something crazy like that? And so I don't know why she kind of jumped down there, can saying the other ones would work fine. Um, then again, I might not inch a little bit. No, I don't want to inch any further the hole. There must be way down there. Falling is not one of them. Yes, it is. Well, we could see what happens. Well, I'm pretty sure that's another dead end. Cause I know, we but with vinyl. But at least if we start there with vinyl. Yeah. If you know what I mean. I'd rather. I'd rather not. Actually, I'd rather. So you, you could just lower yourself down that thing. See what I mean? Yeah, this. That's true. Talk to her. Vinyl. Yeah. What? Uh, God. Uh, remember that severed head I told you about? There's a key laying right next to it. I didn't notice that. Well, what's stopping you? Grab it. I'm not going anywhere near that thing. What's going to do? Jump out and bite you? Um... Quick question. Do zombies ponies exist? With ghosts hovering around my head, I'd say with a distinct possibility. In that case, grab the key with something instead of your bare hooves. Timberwolf. There's, I got a huge problem. There's a timber wolf inside the house. Well, I have to say, who led the? Neither the time nor the place nor the patience for that vinyl. Do you have any ideas? No clue, but hey, that reminds me. Have you tried Zabba Pajam? It's out of this world, but the way it's prepared is something strange. Granny Smith says that the Zabba Pajamas comes close when timber wolves come around the farm. Apparently, she scares them off away from her farm with the. T See? You use the thing. Yeah. I forgot how, though. Something about kitchenware. I don't know. You, you hit the two things together. Right, right. I'm a genius. That story was my plan, not like I'll be up. back. Uh, really, I don't know where you would scare it to, but I'm sure it, it can't yeah. be. The only current issue is I don't have a save point. But you can do that. I, I, oh, I can go to the do the timber wolf thing? Yes. I'm no percussion, but this will make a lot of noise. Oh, I have to. Uh, okay. It's probably going to get your face, but let's do this. I actually think... Alright, you beast, have some of this. Boom, 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 it's boom, working. Boom. The timber wolf is rearing back with its tail between it its grab legs. the keys. Your four legs are getting tired. You get close, drop the pan loudly, grab the key, and run. That's not that it did the key for you. Whew, so much for the pan and spoon. I hope this key was worth angering a timber wolf for. Oh, it didn't anger him. It just slightly upset him. Yeah, so I'm guessing now I go over to the plates. Yeah, there's nothing was left. Yes, and I'm like, hey, plates, guess what? Unlock. Curses, this key doesn't fit. Oh. In the crate. Uh -huh. That forward. Forward? Oh. And then down the hallway. Oh, hallway. right, right, I forgot about that thing. Click, the toolbox pops open. Not needing the key anymore, you discard it. Two of these places now use keys for two things. Yeah. Carrying too much stuff already. Oh, really? Or just take some stuff that. Nothing much inside besides nails and bolts. That didn't. So I guess I need to replace some of this food in the um thing. In the cooking pot. 
Yeah. And the cooking... Oh, yeah, we could try the cooking pot, but, um... Yeah, we might <laughs> have to, um... We might have to pause here and re-get here next time or something, because I expected them to have a little more frequent save points, which normally wouldn't be an issue for me, because I'm like, well, you know... I understand why I don't have saves anywhere to make it a little more dramatic, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, um, should, we should have let's, let's go forward for another ten minutes and see what happens. Okay. I'm not going to die. Alright, I suppose... Don't I'm, go to the wolf. Yeah, yeah, I'm just putting some food back. Okay, you don't actually need those, good to know. Yeah. So you could have tried putting a tomato in the guy's... Like face. Whose face? The the the, the head. Ow. For any of like the tomato. <laughs> I'm pre I'm pretty sure that vinyl like gave us the proper hint though, but yeah. Um <laughs> let's see. Call me squeaky wheel, but I'm getting this oil. No, I'm not an engineer, I don't know how to use this, but I suppose I'll take it anyway. Come on, you can like could you use that to grab the key? The wrench? Yeah. Well, let's try it's it. It's a wrench. That did nothing. Nope. Um, I don't like how that's like the most difficult thing for her. I know. Uh, oil. No. Oh, it's some fire with that. Okay, so I need some kind of grabby thing. Let's see. Hats off, to me. Oh, I, I took the hat. Maybe I could use this as a weapon, but in this house, no luck there. Oh, that was dreadfully clumsy of me. <laughs> that was just plain dreadful. <laughs> well, and <laughs> oh, she did not appreciate it. Oh, apparently not. Can you combine the head and the uh, bench? Hat and the wrench. These two items don't go well together. I would have combined the hat and the wrench. Wrench <laughs> <laughs> hat. My my mighty wrench hat will save us. Um. Do you want to see what happens if we go close to the hole? Ah, uh, sure. That'll be a fine place to end. I'm kind of she's losing her shit right now, anyways. I think I. Okay. Yes. <laughs> that was a pretty immediate fall. You slip you off the edge and dive head, head first into the hole. Tumbling down the top of your skull collides against a sharp edge forming on the wall of the long tunnel, resulting in a splitting headache you won't forget. You slide down the winding route already gone from this world. Your head resembles a busted watermelon. <laughs> well, God. Vinyl Scratch got down there fine, but no, we can't go down there. <laughs> yes, it's like, split your head open. I wonder what Vinyl would say when you get down there. Like, you fine? Uh, not really. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I think Vinyl would be a little more upset than that. She seemed pretty cool with everything so far. Well, yeah, but that's because she didn't really see any danger like we did. She didn't freaking yeah, see a know. severed pony. She might have already killed, like, four <laughs> zombies. <laughs> yeah, maybe. This love. That'd be impressive. Well, maybe so, yeah. She, this is the one It would be the wins. other half of the game where she whops people to death. That'd be, that'd be pretty legit. Admittedly, this is the same vinyl scratch who does do that. She, you know. <laughs> Clean stuff. And stuff with yeah. whoops and fights Discord with her base cannon. Uh, my base cannon? Uh, anyways, we will continue this later and soon and stuff. But for now, thank you all for watching, and see you all next time. Take care.